How's it going, guys? We did get the south wind open. I want to thank you again for coming out. I enjoyed meeting you and your family. And I just wanted to show you this uh, 37BH, or H, I should say, south wind. Now, this thing is fully featured. This is the top of the line uh, in Fleetwood on gas. So this would be essentially just like your friend's Discovery, but on the gas chassis. Full body paint, really good condition, and it will get a full PDI. It does have cameras down the side with the mirrors, so you don't have to worry about blind spots. They take care of that for you. An excellent outside storage with the real metal baggage doors. Insulated as well. This coach is very well insulated, which really just helps you have a fun camping in the summer. You don't have to worry so much about overheating. Some of these coaches, they use paper thin side walls, not this. It's the big G rated tires, big propane tank. So you're gonna have a smoother ride. You're gonna have to change your propane out less. It does have a large inverter on it. So you can run all your electronics off of the battery not have to run the generator as much although it does have the generator big fiberglass back cap that protects your investment from moisture intrusion also just gives you a really nice look completes the look all the way through you see they've really made this pretty for an rv it's got the 50 amp service on the auto reel so that's nice too you don't have to roll that up by hand like so many of the cheaper rvs and it does have a built-in surge protector, which is to your advantage as an owner. So you don't have to worry about getting dirty power and damaging your unit electronically. The surge protector protects it for you. 7,000 QG generator. That's a phenomenal generator. You can power everything on this coach and then some. Water filter, black tuck tank flush. Easy access water points. And because you sit higher, you're not going to be bending over so much to set up in the campsite. Really good quality slides all the way through. You can see the slide design for the heavy weight bearing slide. Real meaty. It's gonna last. Got visible water tanks, so for you, if you ever have to get service, it'll be easy, it'll be in and out. And reinforce bottoms on your slides all the way through in fact fully insulated slides if you push on a lot of rv slides they'll give because they're not insulated these ones are and that's kind of what you get when you go with the the upper trim level you get a lot of these little these little sight unseen ads that if you you know things you don't realize you might want until you go camping in it but i know you wanted to get inside Have your auto leveling control there. See, it has the blackout blinds. You have an auto blind that can come down in the front to give you privacy at night. Nice mobile desk so people can use it at the workstation on the road. Really nice full kitchen with the convection oven. Sorry about the light change here. It is bright today. Extra bed here. Somebody left their pop in. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to clean that up real quick. Nice dinette. You can see I got the blackout shades down. Really deep cabinets on this kind of coach with real wood faces. So you can actually fit dishes in there so often they make these with really tiny cabinets that aren't very good much like i said the convection oven it's going to be a three burner stove with the you know this is a real countertop this isn't plastic stuff same thing with the real real refrigerator and that'll run whether you're dry camping or on the 50 amp it'll run right off the battery with the inverter 
get the double bunks for the little ones. But as they get older, that's going to be a nice pull-out sofa. So, you know, if they don't want to sleep on top of each other anymore, they've got options. You also have the bed over that can come down. So if they bring friends, you can sleep a lot of extra kiddos. I don't know if you'd want the noise. And this is the half bath that they'll be using. And you can see back in your bedroom with your sizable bed. <laughs> I call that a king. You've got mom and dad's room. So the little ones aren't traipsing in. And that's a lot about what we talked. The nice sit down shower, which I think is nice to have in an RV because they're never going to be full size showers. So if you got to do something like shave your legs or whatever it is that you think you need, you know, you got a place to sit. Really like these uh, opposing windows in the bedroom. You can open them up and get a really nice cross bees. Soft touch ceiling. Forced air with two ACs. So you're not going to have any trouble keeping this coach cool in the summer. And they do have the day blinds, which block the, the sunlight a little with the tinted windows, but you can still see outside. And the night blinds. And again, lots of cabinets. Here's your DVD player. So, oh yeah, I forgot. It even has a little <laughs> electric heater and fireplace, which is both aesthetically pleasing and serves a real purpose in terms of heating your coach at the campsite. There's a lot I didn't get to. Oh, cool. A fantastic fan in the kitchen as well. That can sometimes uh, save you from even having to turn on that AC. But um, I don't want to kill you on the video. If you want, I can also take photographs, but I thought some moving pictures would help. Just doing this on my phone. I'm no filmographer. I didn't go to school for it. But let me know if you want to make an appointment on it. We just got it open today, but people are going to start looking and trips and through it and it's a really nice deal. It really is. Thank you so much, and we'll, we'll talk soon.